an immensely popular leader who inspires us students to have a vision for the people. Our Chancellor, Dr. G. Vishwanathan, also known as GV, is a visionary himself. He is an exemplary leader who has championed for people's causes during his tenure in the parliament. He was elected to the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly for 10 years. He is a man of great foresight and is an institution in himself. I request him to felicitate the occasion. So I request you to please gather the audience. Our chief guest of today, Mr. Vijay Kumar, IPS, Special Security Advisor, Ministry of Home Affairs, and a former District Superintendent of Police of Vellore District. <laughs> the person who got the Achiever Award for Social Entrepreneurship, Ms. Tinlas Korol from Ladakh. Mr. Sam Rajapa, Consulting Editor of the Weekend Leader. The Editor, Mr. Vinod Kumar. Mr. Selvam, Dr. Kalyani Rangarajan. Dr. Narayanan, other professors, dignitaries, members of the press and media, and my dear students. Very good evening to you. This is a very important day. Not only the weekend leader has come to VIT well over. Previously, this was being celebrated in VIT Chennai. And also, for the first time, we have Mr. Vijay Kumar as a guest in VIT University, even though he was here 20 years ago, or more than 20 years ago. The lady who has been honored today comes from a difficult terrain, Ladakh, and she has achieved so much uh, among difficult circumstances. I would like to congratulate her for her success, and she should succeed in, the, in her life and also she will lead the luck in the uh, future. Dr. Rajapa, Mr. Sam Rajapa was talking about the responsibility of the press and media, and in fact he was narrating certain incidents which has happened recently. As a democracy, India is undergoing a test, that's what I feel. We are not yet achieved full democracy, we are moving towards full democracy. No doubt we are a big country, a big country of diversity. We have all the problems which a continent can face, not only because of our population, 1.24 billion, but we have many things which is not there in other continents. Take for example, we have languages, nearly 700 languages, 86 scripts, 25,000 castes, and for the first time in the world, more than 1,800 political parties. It's a record in the world, it's a world record. No other country has more than even 50 or 60 parties. And in this kind of atmosphere, it's not an easy country to govern. I feel press and media has a very crucial role to play in governing this country, in making this country an advanced nation. When we find the newspapers or the television, most of it covered by political news. In fact, once the Economist of London wrote about the Indian press and media. It said they deal with only three C's, cinema, crime, and cricket. That is what Indian press and media is. That's how economists wrote. Of course, we have some responsible press people also. But very often I feel, why should we spend so much time only on politics, leaving economics, there are many other subjects, finance, economics, development, where we should learn, especially our youngsters should learn. 
Our advantage is that we have a young population and only thing is they should be given quality education and they should know how a good country or a developing country should march forward in which direction. Compared to what it was 30, 40 years ago, I entered parliament in 1967. I have never seen anybody going to the well of the house, even though once we had a minority government after the breakup of the Congress party, the ruling party was in a minority, and the opposition had a majority. Even then, I have never seen people shouting in the house, going into the well of the house, and not a single day parliament was adjourned without transacting business. That is the parliament which I witnessed between 1967 to 77 compared to what it was in the last few years. I hope the situation will change. We cannot afford to be so much indiscipline. Indiscipline and growth cannot go together. It will not go together. Unless the discipline is self-imposed, we can never make progress, we can never go for growth. And that's what VIT should set an example. I want VIT to set an example for discipline and quality in the whole country. I hope we are already doing it. In the future also, we will be able to do it. And in a young democracy, the press and media has a very responsible, crucial role to play. And I want them to give positive news. That's what Vinoj Kumar is trying to do, to give positive news to the youngsters, to the world, leaving all the negative news. I would like to congratulate the editor, Mr. Vinoj Kumar and Mr. Sam Rajappa, uh, for projecting all important things where people should know about the achievers, about entrepreneurs, about social entrepreneurs, about those who do innovative things, etc., which is a positive, which will give a positive attitude of life to our youngsters. That's why we are going to release a magazine, Lead Star. We are going to release a magazine. I hope many of you will have the opportunity to go through the magazine. It's a very wonderful magazine. I hope it's going to be a success among our youngsters of the country. I wish the, the paper all well. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Vijay Kumar for having accepted an invitation to be with us today. And also, again, I would like to congratulate Mr. Tenles Koral for accepting this award from us. Thank you.